boy oh boy, Trump and his supporters sure do know how to piss me off. I've been saying for a long time, this guy, and again, most if not all of his supporters, really are just so clueless when it comes to certain things, factual accuracy being among them. For the past few months, especially the past month or two, all we've heard from Trump and his supporters is how well the economy's doing, how many jobs are supposedly being created, and especially this all-time low, or at least record low, in the black unemployment rate. So we're supposed to give Trump the credit for that, right? Just because he's the president? Never mind that, as many people, countless observers, have already pointed out ad nauseum, the unemployment rate has been going down for years. The economy has been growing for years, and the black unemployment rate has been trending downward since 2010 or so. All throughout the 2010s, this process was going on. Now. What does that tell us? Who was the president for most of this decade so far? Barack Obama. All through those years, as Republicans were dragging Obama through the mud, claiming that he wasn't born in the United States, that he was a tyrant, this, that, and the other. <laughs> All through those years, the unemployment rate, including the black unemployment rate, was relatively steadily coming down. It was on a downward trend. During all those years, did Trump and his supporters give Obama even one smidgen of credit for it? Of course not. With Trump in office for just over one year now, his policies, most of which actually haven't been passed on a major level, some administrative things, some regulations he's repealed or tried to walk back, but for the most part, he hasn't gotten a chance to implement a great many new policies on the economic front as of yet. And the only major legislation that's been passed, especially on the economic front, since Trump was inaugurated was the tax plan, which has only been in place for a couple of months, not even quite two months, so it hasn't had time to show its effects in the official economic statistics. What's more, from what I've read in the past month or so, the black unemployment rate actually went up. Of course, we won't hear that from Trump and his supporters, will we? Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying that Obama necessarily deserves the credit for the economic growth and the fall in the unemployment rate that occurred under his tenure. That's debatable. And even if he does deserve at least some of the credit, it's debatable how much of it he deserves. There's a larger issue here. Now, I know how the political game is played. Naturally, politicians who are in power always like to claim the credit for anything good that happens while they happen to be in office. And they try to avoid the blame for anything bad that happens while they're in office. It's self-evident why they do that. They have an obvious incentive to do it. People in the general public, those who may not be firmly wedded to one party or the other, and particularly reporters, journalists, I'm taking them to task here. They have an especially bad habit of doing this, blaming the incumbent president for a bad economy and crediting the incumbent president for a good economy. If the unemployment rate for the black community was 16.8%, all the blame would be passed upon this president. Every single president deserves the credit when credit is due. They get the credit and they get the blame. This happened under President Trump's watch and it is part of what he has done as president and his policies and it was going to increase and it's going so. to continue when it comes to February when we see more and more of these tax benefits and tax okay. relief coming but don't forget, American people. Don't I've heard reporters even on networks that have been generally hostile to Trump, like CNN, calling this the Trump economy. No, that is bogus. That is exactly the kind of intellectual and political habit that we all need to break. Folks, get out of the habit of thinking along those lines. Just because a certain president is in office, it doesn't mean that his policies are necessarily to credit or to blame for good or bad economic times or any other developments in the society overall. To assume otherwise, is to violate a basic principle of analytical and argumentative logic. The principle that correlation does not equal causation. Now that's basically just a geeky way of saying the mere fact that two things happen around the same time or at exactly the same time does not by itself prove that one of those things caused the other. Just because phenomenon A and phenomenon B happen at the same time, it doesn't mean that phenomenon A caused the phenomenon B. It could be a coincidence. Coincidences do happen. Or maybe you actually have the chain of causation backwards. Maybe phenomenon B is actually causing phenomenon A. Or maybe there is some distinct, separate, hidden phenomenon, phenomenon C, that is separately and independently causing both phenomenon A and phenomenon B. There's any number of possibilities. 
So if you want to show that Obama deserves the credit for the fall in the black unemployment rate, you've got to do more than just show, well, the black unemployment rate went down while Obama was in office. The Republicans controlled at least half of Congress for most of Obama's presidency. They controlled both houses of Congress for the last two years of his presidency. So it's far from self-evident that Obama's policies necessarily brought about that economic recovery. But by that same logic, you can't just automatically give Trump the credit for what's going on now either. In his beef with Jay-Z recently, he had the nerve to claim the black unemployment rate is at its lowest levels ever because of my policies. Please. That tax plan that's only been in place for a couple of months is somehow to credit for a fall in the black unemployment rate that's been going on since 2010. Don't forget, Paris, this president also was saying that the unemployment rate numbers were bogus back when Obama was seeing positive movement in that regard. That's one thing I was going to point out, that these are the same unemployment numbers. He said that in reality, they were, it was 30% or 50%. He was just, you know, lying. So at the end of the day, it's high time people got their heads out of their rear ends and woke up to the absurdity of this claim. In fact, I would love to see a hashtag started over it. Every time Trump and his cronies run around claiming credit for the state of the economy today, just point out that this has been going on for years since long before Trump was in office, since Obama was president. Doesn't necessarily mean Obama deserves the credit, but it definitely does mean that Trump does not deserve the credit because he wasn't president until just over a year ago. No thanks to Trump. That should be a hashtag. No thanks to Trump. Every time Trump or one of his supporters tries to claim credit for the state of the economy, just respond with the hashtag, no thanks to Trump. Maybe eventually they'll get it through their heads. <laughs> right. Who am I kidding?